Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. Hope you're having a terrific day. Gold is trading up about 30 bucks so far. Uh, we expect gold to trade in the range that we described. Uh, you know, we're not sure this is the beginning of a new upturn, but there are two factors that seem to be having brought gold up higher. One is short covering. As you know, many people thought gold was going down to the 1300 level, uh, which of course we did not uh, have that viewpoint, and they went short on their gold positions, and now they're being forced to cover. Secondly, of course, bargain hunters in the room. When the price goes up, there are more buyers than there are sellers. Remember, gold is a reality-based transaction. Uh, while we saw a tremendous weakness in East India buying in this the last quarter and the beginning of this year, we're seeing a lot more activity uh, in the market from people who are taking advantage of this opportunity because they believe the price is going to be structurally higher. We won't at all be surprised if the World Gold Council reports for January and February end up reflecting uh, central bank purchases as well at these price levels. Secondly, uh, in Europe, and you know, as you know, I've been avoided talking about Europe, uh, but a major new business area has opened, uh, and uh, there are some guys who are taking advantage of it. Uh, and uh, uh, what they're doing is acting as a clearinghouse for people like companies, I should say companies, that want to lend money to European banks. Uh, these are companies such as Johnson & Johnson, Pfizer, Peugeot, um, and that type of top-name company. And this is a complete reversal of the facts that used to go on. In other words, uh, companies were glad to leave money in banks because they expected the banks to treat them right. Uh, now what they're doing is lending money to the banks. That's how hard it's become for banks uh, to uh, get, uh, uh, get capital. And this is an important business development. Uh, indeed, what we're seeing here is that the, the, the deposits now are not unsecured. They are secured. They are collateralized. They're in what's called repurchase agreements. And we don't want to get too far boring about this, but basically, uh, you know, I give you cash, you give me more collateral. Okay? So, you know, you might give me 101% or 102% or 110% uh, of, of what I'm going to put in your uh, facility. Uh, facility, I mean, in your institution. So uh, that's what repos are about on a very primitive, simple level. And there are reverse repurchase agreements, and there are all kinds of other things that go on. But it's important to recognize two things. One, the companies are lending money to the banks. And two, they're not putting money in on an unsecured basis, that they're insisting on being collateralized and collateralized in the favor of the company. So this is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Have a great day. Keep swinging.